100 years. So many things have changed over the last 100 years. Televisions were invented. Automobiles have gone from being crank started to powered solely by electricity. Our government has endured the transition of power between 18 presidents. We put a man on the moon, engaged in world war twice, and declared the rights of individuals, no matter their color, to be equal. Few things remain the same for that long and maintain their significance. West Catholic is one such thing. West Catholic was an ambitious undertaking. It would become one of the largest high schools in the country at one point. The brothers were invited by the Archbishop to come to staff West Catholic High School for boys. There was direct impact from the brothers because of uh, their philosophy, their approach to, uh, to teaching. They wanted you to really grasp the material, learn as best as you could, and uh, make something out of yourself in a process. And then when the girls' school was built, that was another major undertaking to provide a high school for the girls of the uh, neighborhood. All of the nuns were very involved in guiding us besides teaching us. And they told me I could be anything I wanted to be. I always say they were the first group of feminists I ever met. I truly believed I could do anything because they encouraged me. For those who were involved in the merger, not the teachers so much and administrators, but the kids themselves, it was very difficult. The girls minded having to give up their uh, traditions. The boys minded having to give up their building. I'd have to admit that I felt sorrier for the boys only because nothing was really gone. They could see their school, you know, it was still there. Uh, and I always felt a little bit sorrier for them. Maybe the girls didn't like me for that, but I did. rich history, great tradition, good academics, but somewhere along the line of the few years leading up to 2012, there was a feeling of problems. When we get the news the last time that uh, West Catholic was probably going to close, it was heartbreaking. When I heard the announcement that West Catholic was closing, I had total disbelief, and I also said it's never going to happen. I came back to West after an airplane trip to San Diego, in which I had a magazine before me. And in that magazine, it was speaking about the Catholic Church and its failure to see its real mission to the future. It was because of that message and sitting in that plane for a period of time and thinking about this, that I really said, hmm, I think i like another challenge. I was excited for him, went to congratulate him. He let me in on his vision. And through that conversation, I came to a conclusion in my head that I'd like to be part of that. And I gave him my commitment in that congratulatory visit. The rest is history. We, we came down together in the summer of 2012. As our founder said, our job is to touch the hearts of students. You can touch their hearts, they'll do anything, they'll jump through hoops for you. The core of West Catholic is the same as it was. And the West Catholic community is still there. If you look and say the school's much smaller now, but that's good because these students today get an opportunity to know everybody. One thing that has not changed has been the family-like atmosphere at West Catholic. The academics, the athleticism, the demands for the students to step it up and be that blue ribbon school, that has not changed at all over the years. The biggest thing that was sticking me forever about West Catholic is when I had a tumor out of nowhere my junior year and everybody reached out to me. Teachers were emailing me, calling me, making sure I was okay. That made me feel like West was truly a family to me. So that was my most touching part of West Catholic that I always carry with me. When I left West, I always felt like I was taking a part of West with me, and I could do that because I had left a part of myself behind. West gave me the space to 
figure out who I was um, and figure out who I wanted to be and how I wanted to do that, uh, both academically, socially. You know, again, the friends that I made there are friends that I have for life or people that I still talk to. Probably the major influence was Sister Cora Marie Billings. My sophomore year was the first year of the Alumni Hall of Fame. And Sister was inducted in that first class. And I remembered sitting there watching the ceremony and thinking being inducted into the West Catholic Hall of Fame has got to be the greatest thing that could ever happen to a person. Sister Ave, um, so invested in us and in figuring out how to get us to get out of our own ways to tap into um, you know, our potential. Um, and so she was another, another heavy influence. Everyone who has something to do with West or goes to West, there's something special about each person because you grow here as a person. Brother Richard uh, paid a visit to me at my office in uh, northern New Jersey and brought me back to West Catholic, pure and simple. West Catholic is an institution or a school that's really saving lives. Remember when I was here back in the 60s, we were the sons and daughters and grandchildren of immigrants. There's lots of immigrant children here now too. They have the same issues, the same problems, and yet they have the same goals and the same wishes that we did. We have to look back and say we were given a wonderful gift of a wonderful education where most of us have gone on to very successful careers. And we really do have to return the gift. West Catholic has a great alumni base and the alumni are as loyal as can be. So I want to encourage all alums to really think uh, about making significant donations to the school for the same reason that I did because it's a lifesaver. West had a, a special spirit, and it's the obligation of all the students and alumni to pass it on. Being able to understand, like, not to be selfish, and like, you look at how many people give back to West, like, how much money they give back. I wanna be able to do that someday, because West has given me so much, so I wanna be able to give back to West. They've given me things that I can't even put a price on. You know, when you look back at, at West Catholic as a whole and, and it's 100 years of uh, tradition, that's huge with me. You know, it's family. It's, it's been years and years through our blood. If you had the opportunity to have an education like you've had at West Catholic, you appreciate what these nuns and lay teachers and brothers and priests and everyone here has done for you. I hope that West Catholic is able to continue to be the premier school that it is today and to offer the education to the children that need it so badly. Being able to leave here and be able to lead a good life as a citizen, earn a good living, have a good family, that to me is what, what it's all about. And as long as there are kids around who need that, this school needs to be here. West Catholic has led and will continue to lead in our community. This school that was opened in 1916 as a grand experiment will journey forward transforming the landscape of urban Catholic education in spite of any challenges that may come our way. United yet diversified, facing our future side by side, growing, learning, moving ahead, West Catholic we will not forget. West Catholic High, West Catholic High, we sing your praises clear. We're proud your alma mater. You're the best West Catholic High.